Hello, squaddies. You are going to want to take a big, deep breath because on this episode, we are going over the most common gym mistakes that are preventing you from achieving your progress and are killing your gains. So get excited. I've seen all of these ones happen far too many times. I'm going to share with you all of them so you can right the ship and you can skyrocket your results way up there and feel better than ever before. So get excited on this episode of Lean Living. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Lean Living. I am very, very, very excited about today's episode. And that is because these common gym mistakes that are preventing you from achieving the results you deserve are very, very easy to fix. And once you fix them, these are super easy changes to make. However, I do see far too many people making these mistakes. So I'm really excited for this episode. But first, before we dive into all these gym mistakes and you can start writing that ship and getting that leanness going on, I want you to click the subscribe button, give me a big thumbs up if you like this video, and don't forget to comment. Let me know how you are feeling, if these videos are helping, and what you want to see more of. Numero uno, too much cardio. I know, it sounds rich coming from me, right? Because if you follow me on Instagram, you probably see that I preach HIIT cardio almost every single day. However, the type of cardio I am talking about that the vast majority of people are doing in the gym is not HIIT cardio. It is called low intensity steady state cardio and these two types of cardio are very, 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 very different. First and foremost, what is LISS? low intensity steady state cardio. Well, that is when you are exercising on the treadmill, on the bike, on the rower, whatever it is, at a very steady state. You're not elevating your heart rate any higher than 60%. You're generally working in that 40 to 60% range and you're not pushing your body out of its comfort zone. To get any type of results, you need to be doing it for 30 to 60 minutes, sometimes even longer. It is very, very easy for our body to adapt to this type of cardio. And that means we're gonna plateau. But don't not worry, there is an alternative that is much, much, much more effective in burning fat, in building lean muscle, and getting you healthier, and that is called HIIT cardio. HIIT cardio stands for high intensity interval training, which means we are working for very, very short bursts, and we are recovering for short bursts, and we're gonna repeat that for a maximum of 20 minutes. And just to emphasize this point one last time is that there was a recent study that proved that it took six to eight weeks of low intensity steady state cardio to get the same aerobic improvement in your VO2 max that it took in just two weeks of HIIT cardio. So you're getting the better results in just two weeks, a quarter of the time that you would be otherwise. So keep that in mind and next time you go to the gym, I wanna see you smash your HIIT cardio. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, we just got a little lean interruption. Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, okay, I got it. Yeah, they just wanted to make sure you subscribe to the channel before we go any further. That way you'll never miss the leanness again. Okay, deal, deal, subscribe, boom. All right, back to the show. Mistake number two, right there, is isolation exercises, also known as mirror exercises. I know you know what I'm talking about. You're standing in there, in front of that mirror, working those bicep curls for a good 30 minutes, and then maybe you get some triceps going. Another 15 minutes, hmm. And then what can we do next? Well, obviously we go back to bicep curls. Squatties, these isolation exercises are killing your progress and killing your efficiency in the time. Me personally, I never, ever, ever do bicep curls, tricep extensions. Instead, I focus on compound movements because I know these compound movements are extremely hard. And when I say compound movements, that means I'm referring to an exercise that is working multiple areas in my body. It might be my core, my shoulders, and my arms. 
instead of just working my arms. That's like a squat, that is like mountain climbers, push press, etc. And that way it helps develop my muscles evenly throughout my body without being lopsided in say the arms or the shoulders and I'll have nice toned legs, core, arms, abs, everything in between. Mistake number three. Now you might not like this coming from me, but the reality is too many of us do not train with enough intensity. Intensity. I do not want you being in the gym for hours and hours. Instead, I want you getting in and out while maximizing your benefits. And it all starts with intensity. If you do not have intensity in your training, you're not gonna get results. You're going to plateau and you're going to stay stagnant. You really wanna make sure you're in the gym, you're nice and sweaty, you can feel your heart pumping and it's hard to breathe. That is when you know you're gonna be close to your max heart rate and that is what is going to give you the afterburn effects. So your body's gonna work harder to recover throughout the next 24 hours and again, you're gonna burn more calories, your body is going to get leaner and healthier. What I mean by intensity is progressive overload. And that means you need to continually up the weight, up the challenges, or again, you are going to plateau. The body is incredible at adapting very quickly. And without progressive overload, we are going to stay stagnant. And lastly, mistake number four. I think you're gonna like this one. I really do, I saved this one for the end because I think I actually know you're gonna like this, is overtraining. I've been guilty of it in the past. When I was a professional rugby player, when I wasn't on the field, I would train so, so hard, yet I started to see my results actually diminish. And this is from an effect called overtraining. So many people who contact me about the 90 day lean plan, who contact me about the lean squad, say, hey Phil, I'm in the gym six, seven times a week, but I'm not getting the results I deserve. And I simply say, Oh, you have the work ethic, you just didn't understand that overtraining can negatively impact our body, and that is not good news. What happens when we overtrain is we actually put our body under too much stress. We do not give it enough time to recover, which means we cannot perform in the gym, which means we're gonna feel tired and lethargic throughout the week. Woo! And there you have it, squatties. Those are some of the most common mistakes I am seeing people make every single day that really, really are limiting their progress and killing their gains. So I want you to make sure you take these on board, you implement them into your training, you write the ship, and we're gonna see your results skyrocket. And I wanna hear from you how this video helped your results down the road. So please, 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 please feel free to comment below. I wanna hear from you guys, and likewise, if you want personalized, customized plan from me, make sure you reach out or you go to www.lean-squad.com to sign up for your own custom 90-day lean plan. Hundreds and hundreds of people are transforming every single day and that is because my goal is to make a plan that is sustainable for anyone and everyone, challenging and takes into all and takes into account all of these principles I'm constantly preaching. So make sure you reach out to me if you want some help. Lastly, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you never miss the leanness again. And I'm excited, squatties, to see you back here next episode.